Hi everyone, so I found this tag through Clara Slate here on YouTube and it's the Secret Life of a Dollar Tree YouTuber tag and since I do Dollar Tree hauls um, and I love going to Dollar Tree and all of that I decided I to do this tag so here we go. Question number one, are you seriously, oh, are you secretly addicted to Dollar Tree? I am addicted to Dollar Tree but not secretly no. Like, y'all know that I love Dollar Tree. It's no secret. Number two, do you agree with the statement? Do you agree with the statement, shopping hauls are a grown-up's show and tell? Yes, I do. Um, because that's basically what we're doing when we show our, our hauls, whether it be from Dollar Tree or from anywhere else. It's basically us showing and telling you, like, why we bought it, why we picked it up, and all that stuff. So, I think hauls are, yeah, our grown-up show and tell. Number three, do you often find yourself recommending Dollar Tree to friends and family, but not sharing the YouTube part of your life? Yes, like, I think that'd be weird to, if you did, I and mean, wait... But not sharing. Okay, so do you find yourself recommending Dollar Tree to your friends and family without telling them that you do YouTube? Do you, hold on, it's like, it's a lot. Okay, do you find yourself... Okay, yes, I find this myself, I always recommend Dollar Tree to my friends and family. Yeah, okay, so I do, I always recommend Dollar Tree to anybody, friends, family, strangers, um, if I have something that I have from Dollar Tree and somebody asks me where'd you get it, I'm like, Dollar Tree? Well, if it's from Dollar Tree, then I'll tell them, yeah, it's from Dollar Tree. And I don't tell them, yeah, I don't, I don't tell them that I do YouTube, like, along with it. Like, yeah, I got it at Dollar Tree. Also, I do YouTube, by the way, so check me out. No, that, I think that's weird if you were to do that, so. Number four, do people... You are close to call you by your YouTube name. Um, some people, some people do it. Uh, I don't know for fun. I think pronouncing my name is fun for them. Um, and then some people, like my best friend, she's my cousin, but she's also my best friend. She calls me um, Inuji. I think that's really cute too, Inuji. So yeah, some people, yeah, some people and some people don't. <clears throat> choose your, okay, choose your excitement level when entering Dollar Tree. Embar okay, so choose your excitement level when entering Dollar Tree. There's three levels. There's embarrassed because you're there so often. That's the one. Two, excited because you're in the best bargain store ever or three ecstatic and grinning with your camera camera ready for pictures and vlogs um I would say two I'm not like I'm not why I don't know why I would be embarrassed because <clears throat> if I'm there so often it just means that I like the story why would you be embarrassed? That's, yeah. Um, and I'm not, like, ecstatic and grinning with my camera ready to take pictures and vlogs. Um, yeah. I'm not that excited. I have snapped. I do snap um, sometimes when I'm at the Dollar Tree, but not, like, oh my god. Like, it's not, like, over the top for me to where I'm excited. Uh, Dollar Tree is more of, like, like, I'm happy and it's peaceful. But then, like, there's people in there, like, and parking, like, that make it, like, kind of a whatever experience. But for the most part, i um, excited because you're in the best bargain store ever. Um, do the cashiers empl or employees where you shop know that you do Dollar Tree hauls? No. Um, at least I don't think so because... I feel like 
YouTube is not a big thing in my area. Like, and even so, I, like, even if people do watch YouTube in my area, it's not, like, I don't think it would be, like, I don't think there's a lot of Dollar Tree, like, people over here in my area that watch Dollar Tree hauls and stuff like that, so. No. Um, are you a... I thought that said, are you a stripper, girl? <clears throat> need to bring this closer. Are you a member of the Dollar Tree Facebook communities? No, I'm not part of any shopping communities on Facebook. I think that's just too much. I say that now, but then like, watch me in a year or so, I'll probably be joining one. But right now, no, I'm not part of any... Um, communities on Facebook, especially Dollar Tree. How how do you decide on the titles for your Dollar Tree hauls? Um, I just label mine Dollar Tree hauls and then I have the that little spacer and then it'll say what kind of haul it is. Um, like, so I'll do like Dollar Tree haul number whatever it is and then whatever the majority of the items that I got at Dollar Tree, then I'll put that on the, after the break. So like Dollar Tree haul number six, and then the spacer, and then like school supply hauls. So that's, I'm not really, I'm not creative. Like I don't come out with like outrageous Dollar Tree titles. It's just, that's how I title my things. And I title it like that, so I add the little, like, it's a snack haul or a school supply haul so that you know what you're getting yourself into. So that if you, so that if it is a snack haul, then you know to watch it or not to watch it. <clears throat> um, being an, being a Dollar Tree expert and all. Oh, being a Dollar Tree expert and all, do you help people find items in the store? Uh, no. And nobody really asked, like, nobody really asked me for, I well, I've never been to a store where people ask me, like, do you know where this is? Like, usually you ask the workers that, not, I don't know. I never ask people, like, customers. Um, and people never ask me in return. <clears throat> Where are we? Uh, what shopping path do you usually follow in the stores? Do you skip aisles? I usually, the first aisle that I usually always go to is the candy aisle and the snacks aisle. So I usually go through there first. Um... And then I'll make my way around to the cleaning products that's on the back shelves. And then I will go to the, what do you call it? The, like the air freshener aisle and then the school supply aisle. And then maybe like the, the, oh, and I also, that's probably like the last aisle though. That's usually the first or last aisle is the seasonal items that they have for the holidays and stuff. Um. That's the for sure aisle that I always go down. That and the candy aisle, that's the for sure. Because they always have, they always switch out candies. Um, so sometimes the candies that they have there today or that week, they won't have it for like another few weeks or so. So you need a, and that's with everything at Dollar Tree. Like when you see it there that day, you need to get it then and now. Because you don't, you never know. If they're going to be back soon or if they're even going to be back soon at all. How OCD or thorough are you when you look down each aisle? Um, I don't know what, about this question. How thorough are you when you look down each aisle? Um, I'm pretty, I pretty much, yeah. When I go down the aisle, I look like at every single product. Um, that's on the shelf and If something looks interesting, then I'll take a lot more time on that item But um, I know some people say they like they've me kind of memorized it in their mind 
where each item is um, in each aisle because they've been down it so many times. But with me, like, every time I go, I'm like, even though I kind of, it's, I kind of do memorize it as well because I've, I've been to Dollar Tree so many times, but I still look, because you never, you never know. You, it's that the one day you decide to glance over an item is the one day you probably miss, like, the item that everybody's hauling and loving. So I always make sure to be very thorough when I'm looking at all the products <clears throat> when I go through the aisles. Do you haul every single item you buy? I only haul, I only do Dollar Tree hauls if I'm, if it's like, um, like a good amount and stuff. If I just went in there for like, like, a, like, what? Some gum and a chapstick and a piece of paper, a piece of paper, a notebook or something, then like, no. But if it's like, like two or three bags, like, like a good enough amount to actually do a haul and sit down and do a haul, then yeah, I'll haul, but I don't you know. If it's, if it's just one or like, one or three items, one, two or three items, then no. What item are you collecting from Dollar Tree? Do I collect items from Dollar Tree? <clears throat> no, I don't collect any... I don't collect any items from Dollar Tree. I don't think so. I would want to start... I would want to start collecting those colorful vases. Those are really pretty. You know, the... The square kind of vases that are like blue, green... I think even pink. Those are really pretty. I want to collect those. I just don't know how I would use it, though. <clears throat> Who has inspired you in your format of your hauls? Um, so who has, who has inspired me with the way I do my hauls? Um... Like other YouTubers that have inspired me, um, I don't think anybody has in inspired me to do like the way I do my hauls. The way I do my hauls is just is the way I do my hauls. <laughs> I don't like. I feel like hauls. Like how else can you do a haul? Besides, like there's only so many ways to do a haul. It's either you're here showing your items like that, or you're um holding the camera the other way around and you're not in the camera but you're just showing the items so i feel like it's either one or the other there's no there's no like fancy way to sh to do a dollar tree haul unless you're like what skydiving and doing a, a dollar tree haul but who's doing that um and then lastly if you could meet another dollar tree hauler who would it be um I've thought about this and I looked down my list of of Dollar Tree haulers that I watch and the number one person that I want to meet that does Dollar Tree hauls is Jumro please um Basira. Basira Basira's natural lifestyle. I wanna meet her so bad. Like I think she's in Chicago or Detroit I think somewhere like that but she's yeah she's the Dollar Tree YouTuber I love watching um she's like me though she doesn't just do Dollar Tree hauls she does like other hauls she does fan mail I mean fan mail friend mail um just talking videos and other stuff like that but her Dollar Tree hauls are so funny her hauls, her videos in general, and her hauls in, in general are so funny. Um, I just love her personality. She's crazy. Um, but she's get, what is it? Ghetto happy. She always says something shit. I'm not ghetto. I'm ghetto. I'm, I'm happy ghetto. Or I'm ghetto happy. Something like that. She always says that. And I, oh. Y'all just need to check out Basira. Basira's natural lifestyle. I love her so much. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the tag. 
Um, who do I tag to do this tag? If you do uh, Dollar Tree hauls, then and you're watching this, then do this tag. Um, yeah, and if you don't, if you've never been to Dollar Tree, um, check it out because Dollar Tree, you will be amazed at the at the deals you'll find for like the stuff you'll find for a dollar. Um, it is hit or miss. Like sometimes the items suck, um, but then sometimes the items are amazing, and it's only a dollar. So. Really, really, um, Dollar Tree is really a fun store to go through, and, um, and it's also, it's really cheap, so, um, that is it for this video, I hope you guys are having a great day and an amazing week, and before I let you guys go, I just want to let you guys know that I love you so much, and I wish you nothing but good vibes, and I will see you in my next video, bye!